For medication administration, when you come back to practice, you're going to want to go into the black cabinet here in the lab, pull out a scenario out of a notebook. You're going to put the notebook back after you've pulled out some labels. There's also an answer key for your scenario. Grab all of those, go ahead and get the container, and it's going to look like this, that matches your patient's name, okay, that you grabbed. So, Paul Martin 1, you would grab Paul Martin 1's scenario. You're going to ask one of the lab staff, go ahead and begin our practice scenario. The patient on the scenario that I've been given is Kathy Donovan, and I've got Kathy Donovan labels, and I've got a Kathy Donovan medication bin. Open it up. My instructor informed me that we're going to be giving the 0800 meds, and they gave me a blood sugar this morning. The reading was 222. So on the MAR, it says 0730 blood glucose, that's BG, and units here. So right here, I'm going to write the 222. Then I'm going to come over to my sliding scale and come over, and that means my patient's going to get six units of insulin and you're going to write the six units right here where it says units. One thing that I want to check is my patient's drug allergies. I see that she's allergic to aspirin, penicillin, and erythromycin. I need to verify that there aren't any of those listed here on her MAR. So I'm going to look down and see. And I do see one. I see erythromycin has been ordered. So I have to do three things. One, I have to highlight this out. We'll give you the yellow highlighter when you come in. I also need to write DC for discontinued because if I needed to make a Xerox copy of this, the highlighting doesn't always show up, but the DC would. I have to pull out the erythromycin so that my patient doesn't receive it by accident. I'm going to set it off to the side because I have to send that back to pharmacy. And lastly, I need to call the prescriber and ask them what they would like to substitute, letting them know that my patient's allergic to erythromycin. Now I'm going to go ahead and start pulling out my 8 o'clock meds. Notice that in this time column, there's also 10 o'clock meds. I want to be very careful not to pull those out. I won't write on my MAR, like a dot or a check mark. This is a medical document, and I don't want to be writing all over it. If I need to write notes, I'll write those on a separate pad of paper. The first medication that I see that I need to give is digoxin. 0.125 milligrams. So let me look in my med container here. Here's my digoxin. It's 0.25 milligrams. I noted that it's not expired. That's important. And I see that I have to do a drug calculation. So whether you prefer ordered over have or ratio proportion, whatever it is that you need to do to do your drug calculation, make sure that you do. I've done it and I see that I need to give a half a tablet. So I'm going to look and see whether this is scored, because if it's not scored, I can't split it. But mine is. Digoxin is a high alert medication in that I can't give this to my patient unless I have checked their apical heart rate for one full minute, and their heart rate must be greater than 60 for me to give this. So because I need to check that, and because I need to split this tablet before giving it to my patient, I'm going to put it in a separate medication cup. Coming down, I see I have diazide. 37.5 slash 25. It's a combination medication. That's why there's two numbers there. I found my diazide and it is 37.5 slash 25 milligrams. Again, it's not expired. Potassium 60 milli equivalents. I see one that's 20 milli equivalents, not expired. Here's a second 20 milli equivalents and a third 20 milli equivalents. You're checking your expiration date on every single medication you give. Next is Lasix, 20 milligrams. Lasix, 20 milligrams. Hydro, 50 milligrams. Yep. The thing that I need to draw up is my Novolog insulin. They're getting that subcutaneously. Again, their blood sugar was 222. They're going to get six units of Novolog. Novolog insulin, I see that it's not expired. I also see another date, and that date tells me the date that this bottle was opened. Once a bottle of insulin is open, it's only good for anywhere between 28 to 30 days. Know your agency's policy for how long it's good before it has to be thrown away. If you were to find a bottle of insulin that's opened with no date that it was opened, you need to discard that because you don't know how long it's been open, and bacteria may have built up in the vial. Clean off the top of the vial. 
and I'm going to open up my insulin syringe. It's going to say insulin, and it will say insulin over here on the back. Now that I've got this out, I want to show you something. These two syringes are exactly the same size, aren't they? This is one milliliter, so it's marked in tenths of milliliters. This is an insulin syringe. And while it holds the same amount of fluid as this, it's marked in units. So insulin syringes can only be used for insulin. Pull back my six units of air. Remove my cap. Holding my vial, I'll insert the needle. Inject the air into the airspace. Turn the whole thing over as one unit. Draw back. And because with insulin you're often giving just a small amount, it's best if you pull back more than you need and then push up to the number that you need. That way you're sure that you've gotten all the air bubbles out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I'm at 6 units. I need to have another nurse come and verify with me that this is Novolog insulin, that I do have 6 units. And that, that's what my patient is supposed to receive. Can you verify my insulin, please? Yes. I see Novolog. I see six units in here. Here's my patient's blood sugar. It's 222. He does get six units according to the sliding scale. That is correct. 222, six units. And I do see six units of Novolog insulin in your syringe. Good. Could you initial with me, please? I sure can. Thank you. You're welcome. And she has signed at the bottom as well. I'm going to turn the whole thing over as one unit. Holding the vial, take out my needle. Get the needle point. Once it's in, I can grab the sides and cap it. So the drug here is Novolog. The dose is six units, and the route is SQ for sub-Q. Again, I'm not going to cover my liquid. 